So you mentioned that you look, you like to look for a handler that melds with the dog. How do you melt with the dog? Um, well, I, I just try my best to work off the dog. I try to, if the dog has certain habits, I try to work with those habits instead of trying to work against them. I, I remember a, a young handler in Canada who had a very nice dog that he, he got from an American kennel. He, the dog had already won some message notes down in America, and he was he was trying to change the dog. And he came out of the ring one day, and he was so angry, and he said, I've got to retrain this dog. And I said, no, he needs to retrain you because he knows exactly what he's doing and you're working against him. So, and, and he, he'll never admit it to this day, but things changed that day. He started winning and I could see he wasn't forcing the dog into doing things and the dog just performed himself. It, it seems like they do. Dogs all need a lot of gut. There's, there's guidance involved and direction, but if it looks easy, it's usually because the dog is being directed the right way and guided the right way without being forced. Like I've had some dogs where judges have told me, oh, anybody could show this dog. And I'm like, oh yeah, take him and find out. But it's just because we had that connection and I knew, I knew what to expect from them and what they were going to do in certain situations and how they were going to handle this part of the crowd or how they're going to handle the examination. It's all these little things I think you need to learn about your dog, about each dog you're showing it's, it's working with the dog, not working against the dog. Yeah, that's, that's great advice for sure.